guys, so I just got back from shopping for Thanksgiving, getting all my groceries done, and I'm doing all my Thanksgiving cooking today. I'm going to be uh, putting up the videos of everything I'm making for Thanksgiving dinner pretty much in this upcoming week. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got from the grocery store. In the description box below, I will have everything organized by which grocery store I got them from. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, first we're gonna talk about meats. Now this is my favorite vegan bacon. A couple minutes in the skillet on each side and you can toss these in with whatever your favorite greens are. Our favorite greens are kale greens. These turned out really well. And uh, up next we have our Gardein turkey cutlets. Now these actually taste like turkey with stuffing, which is really nice and they're the perfect complement to the entire meal. And that's them right in the middle there. Up next we have TVP, which is textured vegetable protein. It turns out looking exactly like meat. This is what I use for the meatloaf and my homemade barbecue sauce is so good with it. The recipe also, you can make meatballs with it and you can use that as a really nice appetizer. Now up next we have dairy. Now we're gonna be using Follow Your Heart Smoked Gouda Slices to make a cheese sauce and that is what we're gonna be using for our mac and cheese. Once you add a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs on the top and put that to bake, they come out really, really well and tasty. Now for one of our desserts, we use Kite Hill Cream Cheese. It mixes just like regular cream cheese. It spreads just like regular cream cheese. They're made from almonds and they're really, really good. And basically anything you can do with cream cheese, you can do with this. These are our little apple cinnamon bites. Now the silk cashew milk is what we use for milk and the earth balance is what we use for butter. And that's how we make this smoky mashed potatoes that I'm going to show you guys. Now for our grains and pantry, I tried the stuffing, which actually was really good. And this cranberry sauce was good. This is my favorite elbow pasta. And these garbanzo beans are what I use the liquid from in order to make my chocolate cake that is going to change your life. So there's no eggs in this obviously, but the garbanzo bean liquid, it helps the cake stay together as if there was eggs. And there's no way to tell that there's, there's no aftertaste, there's no weird flavor to it. This is honestly the best cake you'll probably ever have in your life. And I can't wait to show you guys how to make this. That was my haul. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please feel free to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I, as I said, I'm going to be showing you guys all the different meals that I make with for Thanksgiving this year. And also, if you are new to the channel, my name is Chris. I did not introduce myself in the beginning. And I am looking forward to any new subscribers. Thank you so much for 180 seven subscribers i think we have right now which is insane i can't even stress to you guys how excited i am about getting to know all of you please feel free to leave a comment in the description box below i love answering questions i love interacting with you guys you guys are absolutely amazing i can't even believe i get to share my vegan life with you guys and yeah follow me on instagram it's reach this infinite life all one word and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching this and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys